Hi guys, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss what, how to delete duplicate records using Informatica Power Center. So, going to remove the duplicate record from the relational table or the flat file. So, this is the video lecture 63 of this Informatica class series. So, let's see how to do that. So, at this place, this is the mapping designer. I created total 5 mappings to delete the duplicate record from the source. Okay, so here, this is the first mapping. So let's or drag the first mapping to one. So when source is the relational table, so here this is dptx is the table name. And if I go here, let's click on this preview data. So this comes from escort. So let's so select their escort. And now you can see this is the record is there. So here you can see uh, 20 bats so twice stamps. Here 60 also duplicate is there. So there are so many duplicate record inside there. So if you are using relational table and if you go on this source qualifier there you can get this pro property select distinct option. So here when you select distinct option so this will select or only this will return only distinct value. So this will remove the duplicate and load only unique record to the target. So if you are using go or this or relational table then you can use uh, this option this is the first and best option for this okay so let's open their workflow manager so going to show you the incoming and outgoing records so here you can see or uh, this is the m dope one let's click on this uh, start task so a uh, start task and uh, here you can see this is succeeded so if you go on this source target so incoming and outgoing total is uh, 5 5 that's displaying so 5 displaying because here if you go on this source and if you go there then total records is here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 total is uh, 9 record okay so here total is 9 but if you go here since uh, this applied the property on this select district in the source qualifier so this remove or here from when you this option then source data that's come to source qualifier so here this place that eliminate the duplicate record and after that that's load the unique record inside this target so let's uh, see here the target record there so now you can see total is now five so this all are unique record that's loaded into the target so this is the first and first option to remove the duplicate when source is, is the relational Let's uh, drag the second option. So second option, when the source is flat file. So if you if you have flat file, if you double click this, go to properties, here you can not see uh, distinct option is disabled. So this option is disabled there. So you cannot use this distinct option. So you can use their sorted transformation. So second option is you can use the sorted transformation and you can sort any record, anyone you can select. So this sort the record and here if you go on this properties here this distinct option that's also available in sorted transformation. So when you enable this property so here this load so for this here distinct record that load into the target. So let's go there or the second mapping. So if I click this here you can see this is the uh, file is do file. So or uh, this come from this location and uh, this is the file name and dummy this is relational table. This come from and truncate target option that's enabled there. So this is the sorted property is there. So here if you want to see the record inside this. So let's go preview data. And uh, let's double, triple click on this triple dot. So file name is dupe x. So dupe file. So this file is not there. Okay. Let's so. Uh, Select the other location, triple dot, desktop, so DW, here you can see the file is there, here, do file, let's uh, select this file. Clicking this open, here you can see this is the uh, duplicate record that's present there. So here 20 is uh, trash stamp, 60 is trash stamp, 10 is also duplicate. Now, thereafter, let's uh, start this task. So start the task, here you can see this succeeded. And if I double click incoming, you can see 10 is there. And after uh, moving from sorted translation, this load 5 records into the target. 
so here if i go on this preview data and uh, if i give a password here you can see this all our unique record that's come into the target so this is the second way to remove the duplicate so let's use see here third mapping so third mapping there i'm using aggregated transformation so here sources flat file you can also apply the same thing with the relational table also and first uh, let's uh, see the record inside this flat file so dupe file is there so this is the duplicate record inside this file and here let's go on this aggregated transformation this is the port is there so i applied a uh, group by on this db number you can also select uh, multiple okay so here duplicate record inside this db number so that's selected first option and no need to select anything else so if you make that group by on this so this make go 10 in one group if for 10 duplicate strands so make that 10 one group 20 one group 30 in one group so by making group by you can also remove the duplicate record so this here the mapping is step 3 let's so uh, start the task of this step 3 so if you want to see the contents inside this let's go on this mapping here you can see this is the file and location of this file and dummy here this is the location and truncate option that's enabled and this is the aggregator i only make that group by on this db number so by making this you can also remove the duplicate record so I start the task here you can see this succeeded if i double click there so here you can see total is five and after that that's loaded or five record that's loaded into the target now if i go there let's uh, click on this preview data then you can see all uh, this record that's loaded this all are unique record so make that 10 20 60 80 19 font group so by making go uh, by using here aggregated transformation you can also remove the duplicate so let's uh, select here this time so fourth mapping so fourth mapping where i'm using uh, expression transformation so here this you can see this is the record inside this file dub file this is the record and these are so many duplicate values are there so there i'm using the sorter transformation so sorter also make that or uh, this distance but uh, there i'm going to use the and here you can apply this ascending order so if you are using go uh, or sources relational table then ascending option you can get here or this option number of sorted code you can give form so by making this you can also so you can apply the same thing with relational and flat file after that insert the expression so expression transformation or uh, this is the port is there so two variable port that i've taken and one is the output port so here you can see or uh, this v count v count value is now this expression is there and v count value go to o count and dpt number that go to v previous count so here if v previous count so v previous count equal to dpt number so equal to dpt number then that so if this condition is true so first time this is not true so that is now zero second terms uh, v count value go to o count so this is zero here after that dpt number value go to v dpt number so if uh, v previous dpt number so previous dpt number 10 and dpt number both are same then this here that increase the value so that become one and when that this condition is match then again this increase the value so one two three four five like this that's continue okay and uh, this is a condition that's given in the inside the expression trans transformation so v count value go to this and this after calculating this all value that go to v count and v count value go to o count and here dpt number value go to v previous dpt so if 10 10 match then here so by making go here uh, so this uh, sorted transformation so this sort the records so 10 20 30 or uh, that sort the records and after that here or uh, this or uh, try to match 10 10 match then that will increase the value if uh, 10 is 20 not match then 0 so 10 20 not match when 20 20 match that increase the value okay so that increase the value so when that increase the value see this or uh, that means that is duplicate when that not increase the value that means this is unique so that here i am using the filter transformation there after here if o count is 0 that means true so o count is 0 that means true that means that so not the duplicate values so there i apply this condition and uh, after applying this condition this loading to a target so this here mapping is 4 so let's uh, see here do 4 mapping or uh, here you can see this is the file that's using and do file and here this is the location and dummy relational table here enable the truncate option and there i'm using the expression transformation sorted transformation so sorted transformation that sort the records and they have to here or uh, filter transformation so expression transformation they are use here some expression and filter transformation is there so let's uh, start the task there 
then this is running succeeded here you can see incoming stain after or uh, giving uh, after that when that or uh, data that's come from the source target that slowed into the unit record if i go there here you can see this all is there so 10 20 60 this all unique value that's come there okay so inside this expression you need to write this expression so you can see this all decimal decimal because deep number that's decimal so that i've taken so this is the fourth way we can here remove the duplicate now let's uh, see what the fifth way so fifth way i'm using the rank translation so rank translation so i use here this terms relational table so you can see or uh, two packs that's come from a scott and let's give their password so here you can see that this is the record is there there are so many duplicate record is there so using this rank translation so this is the part is there so rank that's apply in this dp number so that's created here if duplicate value is there then that's create the duplicate rank if unique value is there that create only one rank so here so that number of rank that's given one so if, when you give here one so this will only return here to uh, unique value so what exactly happening there so if i go on this source so source and if i go there so when that font here 60 so 60 that created the one okay then here or uh, when here this time uh, 60 is there so this created the rank 2 so here 3 so since the number of rank is given 1 so that this value that returned there for 80 here first value returned there 90 for this value this removed there because only this number of rank is given 1 so this uh, 14 that's returned there and this for 20 that's returned there this uh, terminated there so this value total load there so here number of rank this rank is uh, 2 sorry 3 rank created 1 2 3 and since given on this rank transformation 1 so that this will load on the number 1 rank value so this is by using the rank transformation you can also remove the duplicate so let's so uh, check the result there so let's click on this a start task a start task this is so uh, running this is succeeded there now if i go on this start gate then let's uh, check go here preview data so this come from hr so here you can see number of rank that's created one one this all so here one one so only one rank value that's returning there into the target this all our unique value that's returning there so this is the fifth way we can here remove the duplicate record from so from the uh, source okay so if the flat file and you can use this uh, things using the flat file or the relational table so sixth way is also there so by using dynamic dynamic or lookup you can also remove the duplicate values so this point i will discuss in my later video so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you